Welcome to Tea Time with Alex, the new AC3 video blog. You see, we just decided that Dan and Rick, well, they weren't relevant enough. You know, so we just had to decide to change the entire name and go with AC3 Tea Time with Alex. I'm just kidding. Uh, they're super busy doing awesome ministry stuff. But this past week, we talked in our Rediscovered Church series how we are many members of one body and how we each have unique purposes to do what God's called us to do. I don't know about you, but I found myself often growing up asking myself, what's my purpose? Why was I created? And if you're anything like me and you're a bit of a nerd and you're not super athletic and you're not super good at a bunch of different things, then maybe you struggled to figure out what your purpose looked like. The beautiful thing is that unlike school, where you have to be really good at sports, or you gotta be really good at orchestra, or you gotta be really good at drama, or you gotta be really good at math, or you gotta be really good at this or that. Uh, in the church, we all have gifts. We all have things that God has gifted us with to make an impact on the church. I like to say the church is not a building that you go to, but it's a mission that you're a part of. The church is not about the building, it's about the people. and we as people have an opportunity to impact the world around us. So you might be asking, Alex, what, what does that mean for me? What, what does it mean for me to have a gift? What does it mean for me? Like, okay, I can't sing, I can't preach, I can't teach, uh, I don't have the credentials, I don't know enough, I've never taken an eschatology class or systematic theology class, and I'm saying big words, you're probably like, what does that even mean? Well, here to tell you that God still has gifted you. You see, Jesus in his ministry picked the most uneducated men in the area. It actually says in scripture that they were untrained, ordinary men, which means that they were uneducated. They had no education. They had failed out of the uh, royal priesthood. They, they had failed all of these things. Yet Jesus looked at them and said, you are the people I'm gonna use for my kingdom. And similarly, he's looking at you right now and he's saying, you are the one I want to use for my kingdom. God has placed a passion in your heart. And I, I really believe this. When passion meets the Bible and meets faith, that becomes your calling in life. Whether it be feeding homeless people or, or, or caring for those in need, or maybe it's something as simple as filming a video. Uh, we have a great guy that films our videos every week named Michael, and this is his passion. This is what he does. This is He says, how can I move the kingdom of God forward with video? Well, guess what? It's the 21st century, and video is the way to go for a lot of things. And so uh, Michael has looked at us and said, okay, how can I make this better? And so similarly, maybe it's not greeting somebody. Maybe it's not something that happens on a Sunday morning, but it could be something that could make an impact in people's lives. We ultimately want to see people come fall radically in love with Jesus. And just because you don't know it all, just because you're not perfect, doesn't mean you can't lead an e-group, doesn't mean that you can't uh, set up coffee on a Sunday morning, doesn't mean that you can't go into the children's uh, Creek Kids area and hold a baby for an hour so that a mom and dad could get some service and, and enjoy the service together. Maybe it means that you're hanging out with middle schoolers and throwing a dodgeball at their head. And then they look at you and say, you're my best friend. And, and, and maybe it could look like just, you know, mentoring a younger couple, like looking at another younger couple and saying, you know what, this is something I'm passionate about. Whatever it might be, I encourage you, talk to the pastors of the church, the leaders of the church and say, hey man, I, I've really been passionate about marriage. And, and I really believe that there should be a marriage ministry here. Great, we would love to have a marriage ministry here. Let's let's talk about that. Hey, I really would I love young adults. College students, that's my favorite thing. We have young adults, man. We have college students, and we would love to partner you with them and help you get connected so you guys could disciple them so that you could show them what it looks like to follow Jesus. Whatever it might be, we are more than just a building that we go to. We're a movement we're a part of, and you are part of that movement. So my challenge to you is get involved. Do what God has called you to do. We are so much better when we do the thing God has called us to do. We are so much happier when we do the thing that God has called us to do. And I hope that you 
we'll look at that and that maybe after this vlog for the five of you that watch it i actually have no idea who how many watch it but whoever's watching it i hope for you that you'll take some time and you'll take some effort and you'll say all right god what is that thing what is that thing you've called me to do well ac3 that's all i have to say for you i mean i don't know what more you want from me but I'm really excited for this series. I've just been super encouraged that we're looking at the church and say, hey, the church is more than a building. This is Tea Time with Alex.